Hello chaps. We know Earth is a planet in our solar system and there are in total 8 such planets and most of us know them by their names. But have you ever wondered how these planets got their names to begin with? Well, buckle up for a journey through time and space as we unveil the secrets behind the names of our fascinating planetary neighbors. Most of the planets in our solar system are named after characters from Roman mythology. But why? Let's find out. Romans chose to name the planets after their gods and goddesses because they believed these celestial bodies hold great power and influence, much like their gods. The Romans, like many ancient cultures, worshipped multiple gods and goddesses. Each of these gods was associated with different aspects of life and nature. So it is important to note here that before the invention of telescope, we knew about only five planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, because these are the only ones that could be seen with the naked eye. When Uranus, Neptune and later Pluto were discovered, astronomers decided to continue the tradition of naming these planets after Roman gods. So now let's visit these planets one by one. First up, we have Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system. It's named after the Roman messenger of gods because it orbits around the sun super quickly, just like how a messenger would run fast to deliver messages. Next up is Venus, the brightest planet that we can see from Earth. Venus, being the shiniest object in our skies, is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Can you see the connection between beauty and brightness? Next comes our home planet, Earth. Now here's an interesting fact. Earth is the only planet that is not named after a mythological god or goddess. The name rather comes from old English word Erope or Germanic word Erde, both of which mean ground or soil. Simple, right? The fourth planet of solar system, Mars, is named after Roman god of war, perhaps due to its reddish appearance, which is reminiscent of the color of, let's say, tomato ketchup. The fifth planet, Jupiter, is named after the king of Roman gods reflecting its status as the largest planet in our solar system. Next, the sixth planet is Saturn, named after Saturnus, the Roman god of agriculture, who is also father of Jupiter. So you could say that space is a little family affair. The seventh planet, Uranus, was discovered in 1781 by astronomer William Herschel using a telescope. He wanted to name it Georgium Sidus meaning George's star, after King George III of England. However, the name didn't stick and instead it was named Uranus after the ancient Greek god of the sky. The eighth planet, Neptune, was named after the Roman god of the sea. The name was chosen partly because of planet's deep blue color. The last comes Pluto, technically no longer a planet, but a dwarf planet. Pluto is named after the Roman god of the underworld. This name was suggested by an 11-year-old girl from England. Isn't that cool? Although Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, it is still a significant object in our solar system. So this was our small journey through thousands of years and millions of miles away. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Kaizen Micro Lessons. See you next time.